Now, a TikTok, a TikToker whose name is, who's in Beidoun, I think his last name is pronounced. Sorry if I butchered it, but uh, yeah. Apparently, um, this guy right here was being, uh, how should I put this in a way that you guys can properly understand? Let me think. Uh, he was sex targeted by James Charles, and, uh, this is his whole story. From part one and part three, apparently, because there, when I checked it earlier, there is no part two. So we'll just go to part one and then part three. I'm never the type to expose anyone, but this man right here really got me heated. So as you can see, James Charles commented on one of my videos back in August. Then right after he added me on snap, but notice he didn't follow my Instagram or TikTok. So at this point, I'm just shocked. I'm going insane. Like I see this guy everywhere and for him to add me, that's just crazy. So we texted for a couple days, but it was more of like, hey, what you doing? How you doing? And we ended up getting the yellow heart within just three days. Then, you know, after those three days of getting to know each other and everything, the big question came out. James asked me if I'm gay. I told him I'm straight and things started to get weird for me. He then starts leaving me on open. Literally the same day I told him I was straight, he left me on open for 10 hours. But I don't blame him because he did say he was looking for a relationship on a podcast at the time. I'm looking for love on a, a so long term yes. like longevity. But I would get these out of the blue snaps from him asking how am I doing or, or what are you doing like out of nowhere. Like for part two. I now, I'm not sure if any of, of the James Charles fans here have reported the part two video or maybe or maybe us uh miscounted part the, his uh story with james charles but uh let's go to the uh part three skipped over So assuming you guys watched part one and part two, this is part three, this is a little recap. So I seen James Charles on the For You page comment on another guy's TikTok. So therefore I went and hit up the guy that he commented on. Now me being the curious person I am, I asked him, is James Charles hitting on you too? He responds with yes. And then I asked him, are you gay, straight or bi? He said he was straight like me. Now, what was crazy is the same day someone hit me up and asked me, is James Charles hitting on me? Here's a screenshot. I take that back. He asked me, the James Charles are you up to? Notice it's August 26th. It's all around August. Now, I asked the guy, and he was straight. Now, we all ended up with the same stories. Like, he tries to make you feel like it's okay to try experimenting, which is wrong. Now, James one day ends up doing something really dumb. He sends me a nude out of nowhere, out of context, out of the blue. <sighs> like for part four. Now, again, I don't know if part two got deleted or deleted by TikTok or got reported to be deleted by multiple people who are fans of James Charles or maybe who's in Baydoon. Uh, miscounted by mistake and I'm beginning to suspect that TikTok might have taken it taken part two down because we we all know how TikTok operates these days when they take down a video for no reason but uh yeah this is what um James Charles had to say when when his supporters, apparently, have done, uh, have, uh, talked about this on Twitter. Okay, so now I'm on Twitter. 
and this is what Zoe Mavora said. Not to make an excuse, but imagine how it feels when you talk to someone so much knowing that he's looking for a relationship and knowing he's gay, but then are surprised he asks you if you're really afraid to try anything. To, to, to try anything? He was probably so confused and frustrated and felt led on. Now, to a screenshot that Def News tweeted, it says that James Charles probably commented on the guy's page saying, you are so weird for this. Skeleton MLG and exposed video because you're mad I unedited you after months of not talking to you after you told me you were straight okay then Def Noodles tweeted a screenshot that the TikToks have been deleted from the TikToker's page by Maria Muse Yeah, um, I just recorded a video talking about them right now, actually. They have not been deleted. Part two, this is part three, this is a little recap. So I seen James Charles on the For You page comment on another guy's TikTok. So therefore, I went and hit up the guy that he commented on. Now me... This is my personal account, and I just commented on 40 minutes ago. Which means the video's dead. That Def News is claiming right now is not really deleted. I'm it's never the type still to expose up. anyone, but this man right here. This one is from two days ago. And it hasn't been deleted. Because obviously, I guess the app is different from the website itself. And it takes a while for the website to actually delete the videos. I don't know if that's the case, but it probably is. Other than that, he can still get my comment on the website version. Which means that he has not deleted the videos. So I don't know if Depp News or Depp News has been able to check the website portion of TikTok itself. And I don't think Maria Muse, who oh, who Dev News allegedly, who Dev News uh, said uh, so, somewhere along the lines about it, but I see no a uh, screenshot. From her media page, so so I don't really know if uh, ah okay. She commented he deleted. No sis, at the at the time of this recording, he has not. It is. Tuesday, January 26th. He has not deleted from the website portion of the site. It's still up. So technically, the app portion of the videos are still up too. Now, James Charles himself commented on uh, this on this video here to where the girl 
has uh, tweeted earlier, to which I've already read. And this is his response, saying that, Nah, the guy said he was bi and wanted to experiment, but was scared because of his religion. So I told him that he shouldn't be. I never sent him a nude, and then stopped talking to him when he told me he was straight a week later. He's, he's upset because I unadded him a few days ago, lol. And then he tweeted. And then he t continues to tweet this with screenshots saying that I confronted him a few nights ago and he sent me these and promised to delete them. And then 10 minutes later, unsent them all. Unsent it all. Luckily, I screenshot it all before he could. And apparently, this is the guy's Instagram or uh, TikTok uh, DM, which says Hussein Ali Baidu. No, wait, that might be Instagram. Yeah, that might be in Instagram. Instagram has uh, a lot of uh, different, uh, you know, uh, graphic uh, features, whether it's Android or Apple. So, anyway. I'm guessing this is James talk talking to him. Your TikTok is absolutely pathetic. It's really embarrassing how this word you are for cloud. I added you, and you told me you were bi, but I, but didn't know how to come out. We talked for a few days, and then you said you were actually straight, so I left you alone, and then. After months of not talking on Snap or Snapchatting, I had you a few days ago, and you get upset and try to quote unquote expose me for leaving you unopened. Grow up, dude. I didn't say anything rude to you. I didn't expose you. I out you. I literally removed you as a friend after we hadn't talked for 11 weeks. If you want to keep telling your story on TikTok, I promise that I have absolutely no problem shedding some light on what actually went down, so I recommend you cut the bullshit and let me move on from the non-existent relationship we had. And then that's him talking. I didn't even read everything up there that you texted because I'm in wrong. I think he was supposed to type, I'm in the wrong. My apologies. And then this is James continue to talk to him. I'm not looking for friends. I told you that when we first started talking, we, when you told me you were straight, I left you alone. It is absolutely ridiculous to try to expose me for doing nothing just because you were angry. I honor at you. And then here's the second screenshot. James, you don't need to explain yourself. James tweet messaged him back. We talked to him a week in August. That was six months ago. And then Hussein Ali Baidun messaged him back. You never did anything wrong. Hopefully everything goes good for you and your relationship life. And then 
Apparently, James has the last word of him saying, It's not because stupid shit like this happens to me constantly where guys only care about my clout, not me as a person. And then he last replied, Of course, I care about you as a person. As soon as I got a notification that you DM'd me, I felt so bad and thought to myself, What the fuck am I doing? Like, literally, you did not do anything, and I don't want to put you in extra drama that you don't need. Well. Well, this guy who is from Michigan, um, you really have you. I guess he felt really sorry for James Charles. And you know what? I felt sorry for James Charles for being sex baited, but I also felt sorry for Hussein Beydoun to get all the backlash thanks to Keemstar, who carried on the drama after Deaf Noodles uh, got the videos. But Deaf Noodles falsely claimed that the videos have been del deleted. They are still up because I'm still watching them. Part 1 and Part 3 are still. So, assuming you guys watched Part 1 and Part 2, this is. are still up. I'm not sure if part two is the only video that they were actually referring to that's deleted, but if Hussein Beydoun takes down the other two videos, like actually take them down because I can I can still see them from my end as of recording right now. And there would be no trouble. Right now, though, it appears that the video is still up as it is. And the only thing that is missing is part two, so that might have been the only one deleted. If anyone else could probably find the part, the deleted part two video of who say be doing telling a story, I would like to uh, make an update video after that, if I can. But, uh, yeah. Again, I felt sorry for James Charles, but I also felt sorry for who saying they do and who's getting all the backlash. Because, apparently, he told a fake story about James Charles, just for clout, and judging by the likes and the comments that he's getting, well, that's just it, really. And also, he has about 328.7 K followers on TikTok, so that might be why. But anyway, that is it. That's all I have to say. Just don't try to ruin people's lives with clout. Oh, and before I go, one more thing to add. This is his Instagram, and uh, people have commented on him. My calling him a clown. 
or trying to call him an insult like this person who said instead of us it should be sus but i agree that this person here who says no you're embarrassing yourself with that you're embarrassing yourself that wasn't funny delete it yeah that that wasn't a very good uh insult or a joke that's just uh not funny no humor in that has has sus yeah that's not that's not a funny joke but then people like this come into cloud chaser and not the homophobe who accused of a gay man of sexual harassment to cloud likes sexual harassment for cloud likes you're disgusting and then that person commented ha 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 i'm fucking dead bro this person commented clown after that I and I guess that's all I can show you so far. I think. Yeah, that's what I think I can show you so far because Instagram sometimes takes me back to the previous comments instead of the new comments which I'm trying to click on to see if I can read more but uh yeah you know that's that anyway please do not send him any more hate he already felt bad And I know, and I know I'm showing his name, but I'm serious. Please don't send any more hate to him. It's just not necessary. But I'm gonna ask if that. But most likely, James Charles should not read DMs with people anymore. He should actually stop reading DMs with people. I think he would he would have avoided this if James Charles would not read any of his DMs just so that he can actually stay out of trouble. I mean, luckily he can he like exposed him, but this goes to show that influencers, quote unquote influencers need to stop replying to random strangers. So, stop replying to random strangers, James Charles, and maybe this guy wouldn't have the ability to cloud chase you. Just a thought, please. Stay out of trouble for once. Stay out of controversies. Stay out of stuff like this. It's not looking good for either of you. 